Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. My name is Brett and today we're looking at the all new Yamaha XSR 125, which is new into the sport heritage range from Yamaha. And we're going through all that important spec, so stay tuned. Now, when it comes to the engine, Yamaha have a trump card because they have the same engine as the MT125 and the R125. So yeah, same engine is the 124cc single cylinder, single overhead cam, four stroke machine that produces 14.75 brake horsepower at 10,000 RPM and 11.5 Nm of torque at 8,000 RPM. Now it does have variable valve technology. So when it gets about 7,400 RPM, you'll get a nice little boost in acceleration and to accompany that, we have a six-speed gearbox. On to styling and just look at it. I think it's fair to say the XSR just looks absolutely fantastic. And you don't have to look far at this to see just kind of the heritage bikes Yamaha and inspired from. Bikes like the RD, for instance. We've got this gorgeous rounded tank. We've got the stripes underneath the Yamaha badge. It just looks great. But then when we go to the front, we have the traditional circle style, but LED headlight. LED indicators and a round LED tail light as well. All in all, it looks fantastic. But just like the engine, the frame on this comes from the R125 as well, because it shares the same Delta box frame. Now it's still quite light, coming in at about 140 kilograms wet. So all in all, it not only looks great, but should perform great too. Now, when it comes to colorway options on the XSR125, we have three options. We have the gorgeous red line version here today, but there is a tech black and impact yellow available as well. Now the seat height on the XSR125 is 815 millimeters high, which is a little bit higher than average, which I'll say is about 800 millimeters for 125. But I can get both feet down okay, not completely flat, but not too bad at all. Now right in front of me is this very stylish fuel tank, which holds 11 liters in capacity. But the fuel economy is great on the XSR125, you should get about 135 miles per gallon. Let's have a look at the dash. Quickly turn it on. But from the start, you can see it's a great mix of modern and retro. We've gone the typical heritage route of a nice circular dash. Inside that is where we have the negative LCD technology, giving us all the important information from revs, gear indicator, speedometer, odometer, and fuel gauge. And underneath that, nice and clear are our dash warning lights. The switch gear is oh so simple and what you'd expect on a 125cc machine. It feels quality and everything is where you expect it to be. Moving on to brakes and suspension. And at the front here, we have a 267 millimeter disc. And to the rear, we have a 220 millimeter disc and we have dual ABS as standard. When it comes to the suspension, we have a 37 millimeter upside down fork at the front and then a monoshock to the rear. Now the Yamaha XSR 125 starts from 4,450 pounds. Now I'm really happy to say we have a new test rider at Bike Matters called Roger, who's taking this out for a full road test review, which is gonna hit the Bike Matters channel really soon. So make sure to hit that subscribe button to see that when it hits the channel. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a like rating. Any comments or questions, put that in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.